Well, our first step will be for us to separate the variable. So we have on the left, n to the 32. Well, to separate the exponent 32 from n, I'm going to be multiplying it by 1 all over 32. I remember, whatever you do to the left, you do to the right. So that means I'll also be multiplying the exponent on the right by 1 all over 32. So this is equal to 2 to the n times 1 all over 32. And notice that 32 can cancel off 32 so that we have n to the 1. n to the 1 is n, but I'm still going to be putting a 1 here for a reason. Equal to, now this I've got 2 to the n times 1 all over 32 is n all over 32. Good. Now notice that the exponent on the right contains the variable n. And in order to remove n from this exponent on the right, I'll be multiplying the exponent of both sides by 1 all over n. So I have n to the 1. Remember, I'm multiplying the exponent of both sides by 1 all over n. Equal to, this is 2 to the n all over 32. I'll still be multiplying it by 1 all over n. Now notice that n cancels n. So that we have n. 1 times 1 over n is 1 all over n. Equal to 2. Now I have 1 all over 32. So 1 all over 32. Now we've been able to separate the variable n. Our next step will be for us to apply some manipulation on the right hand side. We want to make the right hand side to resemble the left hand side. And I'll be doing that by multiplying the numerator by 2 and also dividing the numerator of the exponent by 2. We're doing it this way. There is no need of doing the same thing here on the left hand side. Because when 2 divides 2, we get 1. And 1 times 1 over 32 is 1 all over 32. So this simplifies into n to the 1 all over n equal to 2 to the 1 times 2 is 2 all over 32 times 2 is 64. This becomes n to the 1 all over n equal to, now this can be written as 2 squared, now raised to the power of 1 all over 64. Uh, the reason for this is, from indices, powers multiply. So when I multiply 2 times 1 all over 64, I'll still get 2 all over 64. So that's it. So our next step will be for us to simplify what we have inside of these brackets. So we have n to the 1 all over n to be equal to, now 2 squared is 4. And this is raised to the 1 all over 64. Our next step will be for us to do the same thing. That is, multiply the numerator by 2, the numerator of the exponent by 2, and also divide the denominator of the exponent by 2, just as we did here. So that we have n to the 1 all over n, to be equal to 4 to the 1 times 2 is 2 all over 64 times 2 is 128. Well, writing this in this form, we have n to the 1 all over n to be equal to, so this can be written as 4 squared, that's 4 squared raised to the power of 1 all over 1, 2, 8. Because for the same reason as what we did here, 
2 times 1 all over 128 is same thing as 2 over 128. Our next step will be for us to simplify what we have inside of this bracket. So we have n to the 1 all over n to be equal to 4 squared a 16. And this is raised to the 1 all over 128. Now notice that the right hand side looks nothing like the left hand side. So we continue to multiply the numerator and the denominator of the exponent by 2. So multiply the numerator by 2 and also multiply the denominator by 2. Remember, we're just doing this to the exponent. So that this becomes n to the 1 all over n to be equal to 16. Now, 1 times 2 is 2 all over and 128 times 2 is 256. So this becomes n to the 1 all over n equal to now 16 squared. So 16 squared. And this is raised to the 1 all over 256. Our next step will be for us to simplify what we have inside of this bracket. So that we have n to the 1 all over n to be equal to 16 squared is 256. And this is raised to the 1 all over 256. Now compare the variable on the left to what we have on the right. You notice that n is equal to 200. And 56 and this is our answer well we can also use the lambda w function in this question and we get to that value for n but before then feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like I always say, until next time, take care.